In this lecture, we will understand how to find out if the given system is linear or nonlinear by the help of its transfer characteristics. So it's important to understand what do we mean by transfer characteristics and how it is different from signal graph from signal graph till now we have seen only signal graphs and we already know in case of signal graphs we plot the variation of output with respect to the independent variable which is usually time so the y-axis the y-axis in case of signal graph is the output of the system and the x-axis is the independent variable which is time t in our case in case of signals and systems the independent variable is usually time because signal is the variation of electrical quantities like voltage and current with respect to time so we know about the signal graph but what about transfer characteristics all the four plots here are transfer characteristics of four different systems Transfer characteristics is the plot between the output and the input. This means in case of transfer characteristics, we plot the variation of output, why it is the output, variation of output with respect to the input, xt is the input. So if you compare transfer characteristics with signal graphs, you will find in place of t, we have input. And by using this, we will try to comment about the linearity of the system. And in the first problem, which is problem number 17 till now, we have a straight line. So we will first try to obtain the equation of the straight line. And we already know how to do this. I have explained this many times in analog electronics as well as signal and system. So I will directly write down the equation. I will use the form y equal to mx plus c. y is equal to yt. I will follow the notation we are using yt m is the slope and to find out slope you need the values here values are not given and while checking the linearity of the system the exact value of slope is not required so don't waste your time calculating the slope even if the values are given for example here we have 4 here we have minus 2 the slope will be equal to 2 but there is no need to calculate the slope leave m as it is and x will be xt the input now what about intercept the intercept is equal to 4 in this case so plus 4 now use the properties we have obtained till now there is one property which tells us whenever there is some added or subtracted term in the system relationship other than output and input the system is going to be non-linear now look closely the system relationship this is the system relationship we have obtained from the transfer characteristics in this yt is the output mxt means m is the coefficient and xt is the input so we have the output and input terms but other than them we have 4 also which is the added term and whenever there is any added or subtracted term in the system relationship other than output term and the input term the system is going to be non-linear here coefficient will not affect the linearity this is also one property so finally the answer is non-linear so the system having this transfer characteristics is a non-linear system now we will move to our 18th problem and as we know the basics we will try to solve this problem quickly here we have a straight line again and the straight line is passing through the origin so the intercept c is going to be zero the slope of the line is negative and let's assume the magnitude is equal to one so the slope is equal to minus one so yt is equal to minus xt if you want you can leave it like this yt is equal to m xt because we can find out the linearity in both the cases you can see there is one coefficient and other than that we have output and input and we already know the coefficient will not affect the linearity so the system is going to be linear so we can compare the problem number 17 and problem number 18 in both the cases we have a straight line 
but in this case the straight line is having the non-zero intercept remember this point the straight line is having non-zero intercept that's why we have 4 here but in this case the straight line is having intercept equal to 0 so whenever you have a straight line and the intercept is non-zero the system is going to be non-linear and when the intercept is 0 the system is going to be linear now we will move to the 19th problem and to solve this problem you should know the transfer characteristics of modulus function this is the transfer characteristics of modulus function that's why yt the output is equal to mod xt and we already know the modulus function the modulus function is a non-linear operator non-linear operator and whenever a non-linear operator is operating either on output or on input or on both the system is going to be non-linear so again the system is non-linear in problem number 19 and in problem number 20 we again have a specific transfer characteristics and from this transfer characteristics we can say that output yt is equal to signum xt and signum function is a non-linear operator therefore the system having this characteristics is a non-linear system so this is all for this lecture i hope you now understand how to find out the linearity of the system when the transfer characteristics is given and this is all for linear and non-linear systems from the next lecture we will start the new classification which is invertible and non-invertible systems